So let's start with today talking about subprograms. So what I'd like to do is to first show you um, how to be sure you have access to the subprograms menu. So be sure that you're in level, and you can go up to level two just to get it, but I go ahead and go to level five objects, all right? And now, at like you've had for a while now, you have all these element groups here. So, um, then let's go to basic elements, okay? And the first thing I'm gonna do is put the start program icon in, all right? And then um, when I want to add a new subprogram, I'll need to do that. So I'm gonna start with a simple example first of just how we might have a subprogram that did nothing but open loop control, okay? Um, so no sensors involved, just regular open loop control, all right? So as I go up here, you see that's delete a program element or object. That's create a new subprogram, copy the current subprogram, or delete the current subprogram. So if we put create a new subprogram, okay, and I could make that right, all right, and I click OK. So now I'm here, and you can see I have a tab main program, and it has this in it. Then I have one that says right. Okay, I hadn't put anything in there yet. And just like main program has multiple tabs, function, symbol, panel, TX display, properties, and description. Okay. Um, then right also has those same tabs. All right, so when I'm in a um, subprogram, I don't need to put the green man. Instead, I need to put a subprogram entry and exit. All right, so I'm going to take the entry and I'm going to take the exit because I'm going to need it in just a minute. You can see as I ho hover here, I have subprogram command input and then subprogram command output. All right, so I just want to write a program that uses open loop control to run to the right. And based on my motor, clockwise will make it run right. Okay, so I'm just going to get the motor command. All right, and I'm going to have it run to the right um, for three seconds. Okay. And then I'm going to have a motor stop command in. Okay, so that's the motor command. I'm gonna have it stop. All right, then I want it to exit. All right, so my next one needs to be to go back to the left. So I come up here, I need new subprogram. And I could do that, or I could do copy the current subprogram. Let's do that. Now it's going to let me name it, and I'm going to name this one left. And I can type a description. And I click OK. All right. So now I have right and then left that I just made a copy of. And I just want to change this one instead now. All right, so it was going clockwise. I need this to be counterclockwise. And I click OK. All right, so now I've written go to the right, three seconds, stop, go to the left. Also the same thing. So I come to main program now. And I want to include those subprogram elements. All right. So to call those programs, I need to go to Loaded Programs and expand it. I haven't saved my program yet, so it's still saved under Unnamed 1. When I click that, you'll see that I have the main program, right, and left. Okay, so let's say that I want to go right first. I'll drag that in and connect it. I want to go left. Okay, 
and then I want to loop over and over and over. So I'll just loop it. Alright, and then so my program's complete and if I start to run it, you will see that it will begin to move through my program. I can see it on right, I can see it on left, right, and so now if I actually go inside my programs, I can see it move through them. You'll see when it enters here, there you go, I can see it there. Okay, now it's in the left one, right, so let's go ahead and change the left. The red box shows that it's there, alright? So that's a brief overview of subprograms.